okay now let's talk about uh, time value of money so this is time value of money so what is time value of money for example if if we have one thousand dollars today and we have an opportunity to invest this one thousand dollars into a bank account which pays an annual compound interest of 10 percent 10 percent now the question is how much this money would become at the end of one year we have this one thousand at time zero and we want to know how much money would be in our bank account if we deposit this one thousand in a bank account which pays an annual compound interest rate of ten percent so by using our um, future value formula uh, that we have learned in the last video we can calculate the future value of this one thousand at the end of one year so the future value of this one thousand would be future value at the end of first year equals to the present value at the end of time zero multiplied by one plus annual compound interest rate raised to the power time duration so here in this example present value is one thousand dollars this is one thousand dollars multiplied by one plus interest rate is ten percent that is zero point one raised to the power time duration and time duration in our example is one year so this is one so one thousand multiplied by one point one raised to the power one and this will become equal to one thousand and one hundred dollars so the answer is one thousand and one hundred dollars that is the amount that would be the amount at the end of uh, one year so now what would be the total amount in our bank account if we deposit this one thousand at a compound annual interest rate of ten percent for two years for two years so in that case future value future value at the end of second year would be equal to present value at time zero multiplied by one plus annual compound interest rate raised to the power n so now present value is one thousand dollars multiplied by one plus annual compound interest rate is ten percent that is zero point one and now the time duration is one and two years so it's raised to the power two so this is 1000 multiplied by 1.1 1 .1 raised to the power 2 which is equal to $1,210. So this is the amount at the end of the second year. So in this example you can see that uh, the, the, the future value of a given amount of money at time zero is greater than uh, its present value at time zero that is due to the interest why we charge this 10 percent interest uh, it has several reasons for example because we know that if we have one thousand dollars today and we want to buy a basket of goods from this one thousand we would not be able to buy the same basket of goods at the end of first year with one thousand because of inflation because money loses its value so normally lenders charge this uh, this interest uh, to the borrowers to compensate this this inflation and also they can charge certain amount of uh, this interest due to the fact that uh, they are basically charging uh, the rent of using the money so this rate of interest comprises not only um, some portion of inflation but also a portion of um, of rent or some portion of profit that uh, lenders normally uh, charge to borrowers 
so this is the future value of this 1000 at the end of first year 1100 is the future value of this 1000 at the end of one year if we charge 10 percent interest and this is the future value of the 1000 at the end of second year so the future value of 1000 at the end of second year is 1210 if we charge 10 percent annual compound interest rate so we can move on further for example if we want to know how much would be the future value of this 1000 at the end of at the end of three years so that would be future value at the end of three years equals to the present value at time zero multiplied by one plus rate of annual compound interest raised to the power time duration so this is one thousand dollars one thousand dollars one point one raised to the power three and this is equal to one thousand three hundred and thirty one so this is one thousand three hundred and thirty one so now you can see that we can solve number of different problems and just by using this simple formula future value at the end of time n equals to the present value at time zero multiply by one plus annual compound interest rate raised to the power n so same formula can be used to calculate the present value so if we want to know the present value of any amount of money for example let's take an example there is an amount of money in our bank account which is whatever 5000 for example 5000 at the end of at the end of sixth year at the end of sixth year and if we want to know how much money was in the beginning in our bank account that we had previously deposited at the at the compound annual interest rate of 12% at the compound annual interest rate of 12% so what was uh, the initial amount of money that we had previously deposited at, at a compound annual interest rate of 12% for 6 years and now this money has become equal to $5,000. So this is the question where we know the future value of money and we want to know the present value of money. What was the present value? We do not know. Now to solve this problem, we'll use the same formula and we'll say that present value at the time 0 equals to future value at the end of sixth year divided by divided by one plus annual compound interest rate raised to the power n now here in calculating the present value we do not say it this small i we do not call it compound annual interest rate we call it discount rate so because we are discounting back this money at time zero so by using this formula 5000 is at the end of 6 years divided by 1 plus annual discount rate is 12% that is 0 0.12 raised to the power time duration which is 6 years 6 years so this is equal to 5000 5000 divided by 1.12 raised to the power 6 so now what is 1.12 raised to the power 6 equals to so this is equals to this is 5000 divided by 1.12 raised to the power 6 equals to 1.9738 and so on so now divide 5000 5000 to 1.9738 so this will give us 2,533 dollars so 2,533.1556 so roughly this is 2,533 dollars so our answer is present value of this 5,000 at time 0 is 2,500 33 approximately so this is by using the formula we can calculate uh, mm, not only the future value of any single amount of money but also we can calculate the present value of any any given amount of future value